Okay, so what I've got here is a GeoGebra worksheet, a real basic one. I have uh, three sliders uh, for the variables A, uh, K, and H. And you can kind of see how those variables affect the function on an XY plane. Um, and so I want to get this on a website for my kids to play with, my students. And I'm going to put it on a Google site. And I've already got that here. Uh, I'm going to stick it on in this basic parabolas of a function, uh, uh, basic parabola function site that I've already got created. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and export this. Go to File, then Export. Dynamic Worksheet as a web page. And I've already got some information typed in here, but you type in the title and what text you want above the construction. Like I'm going to this is basic parabola. I want move slider H, K, and A. How do these variables affect the function? And then you might have some text below here. And then I need some advanced, uh, uh, I need to export to as a web page. And then I need to go to this advanced area. And, you know, I don't really need any of this stuff because all I care is whether they can uh, resize it or not. And if you look here, this is probably the one of the more important things you need to look at. But it, the width is 615 and the height is 405. So I'm going to cancel just to show you what could, would happen. So maybe you want it just a little smaller than that. And let's center up my function a little or move it away from the sliders. And so let's let's say we wanted it this size. So I just clicked and you know drug it to the corner. So I'm going to do the same thing and, and watch what it does to the numbers web page advanced whoops I'm out of, off my screen sorry about that and notice now it's 547 by 339 okay and you could probably type in anything um, I'm just gonna leave it but uh, maybe you want it standard uh, YouTube size I think it's 400 by 300 but any rate um, I'm just going to keep it like it is, and I'm going to go over here to Google Gadget, since this is going on a Google web page. If I was going to Moodle, I would use the Moodle to clipboard, but Google Gadget is a clipboard item. And then I'm going to hit Clipboard, and it's going to redirect me to the Google Developer web page, which we don't even need, so I'm going to just X that out. Um, and then I'm going to go to my site, and my um, particular page that I'm going to put this gadget on is this basic parabola function. Um, you could, you know, create a page if, uh, for it if you wanted to, but I've already got this site, this page kind of ready to go. And so I will go to edit the page. And then I'm going to insert, instead of HTML, I'm going to insert and then go down here to more gadgets. And then I'm looking for embed embedded gadget. So I'm just going to click this embedded gadget deal. And uh, let's get here so I can see what, what we need. Oh, yep, and we'll select that. And it's going to give me a blank spot there. And so I'm going to click in there and then do a edit paste or control V or, you know, whatever to paste that clipboard stuff and it's going to look like witchcraft and there I pasted it it's a whole bunch of gibberish and I'm going to change the width of my page to match those numbers 547 and 339 and and I'm going to hit OK and you could have previewed gadget and then I'm going to save it. And hopefully it'll start loading. And you can see my size isn't quite right. It's kind of ugly. So I could change that. But there it is. It's on the web and ready for your kids to view. So I uh, hope this helps. That's how you embed a gadget in from GeoGebra to a website. In this case, Google.